Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Rachel with Nighttime Mommy Reviews and today we're making meatloaf and mashed potatoes start to finish in the Instant Pot using our Instant Pot and the air fryer lid to finish it off so no more oven and heating up your whole house. You guys, it's super fast. I want to show you guys how I did it so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And if you're interested in any of the items that I use today in the video, check the description box below. I will have the links for all of the items. And if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments. And if you have any requests for the air fryer lid, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, but let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started, we're going to need one pound of ground beef. And this is 90% lean ground beef. Uh, you'll also want one cup of dried breadcrumbs. You can also use crushed uh, Ritz crackers. I hear that that's really tasty. Um, you also need three quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of milk, one large egg uh, beaten. You also need half a teaspoon of, or sorry, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of ketchup one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and that is it for the meatloaf portion. Now you will need a container to place on top of your trivet. I'm using the Instant Pot uh, silicone one. I actually like this because it fits perfectly in my six quart and it's a uh, glass at the bottom but it's also very easy to clean and you can remove it with this clip so I like it. You remove it and it'll open up all the way so I like it. I'll have the link for it in the description. But let's go ahead and get started and start adding all the ingredients. Alright, so all we're going to do is just start adding our ingredients and mixing it all together. So I'm going to start with the small seasonings, such as pepper and salt, garlic powder. We'll add our egg, the milk. And then we'll add our breadcrumbs. Just we'll add it as we go. So just start mixing in and incorporating all of the ingredients. Okay. And you might notice I have oil right here. This is actually for greasing the pan so that the meatloaf does not stick. All right, so you're just gonna continue to do this until all of the ingredients are incorporated. So right now you can see that there's some dry spots of breadcrumbs on there. So I'm just gonna keep mixing until I don't see that anymore. It only takes a minute or so. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is just spray my pan. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way and we can prep it. All right, so all I did was spray all the sides and the bottom so that it doesn't stick as it's cooking and I'm just going to add the ground beef and press down so that it creates a form there. Press it down really well, otherwise you're going to have um, lots of cracks in it. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's You're going to eat it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's 
get to the Instant Pot and add our potatoes. All right, so now for this part, what we're going to start with are four peeled and quartered potatoes, and I will show you the size of the potatoes that I'm using. They're about medium size, and I'll show you next to, you know, the six quart screen here. So they're medium sized potatoes, and you're going to use four of them peeled and quartered, okay? So I'm just gonna put those in the Instant Pot, and you're gonna need two cups of chicken broth. So I'm just gonna add that there. I'll show you guys close up. So you just wanna press it down so that they're even there because what we're going to do is we're going to add our trivet or if you have this silicone ring, um, it's actually pretty great for removing, you know, if you have the cheesecake and you make cheesecakes in here, this is really easy to lift the pan out. Uh, so I like to use it. It's a sling and they sell it at Target. So just in case you guys want it, it's at Target and also available online. Um, but this is all we'll have to do. So you're going to keep your two cups of chicken broth and potatoes down there. Put your meatloaf on top. And let's go ahead and start. So add your lid. And you're going to pressure cook for 30 minutes on high. And we'll be back. All right, so there's only a minute left, so what we're gonna do is prepare the sauce, and what you're gonna need is a quarter cup of ketchup. Let me get everything out. And two tablespoons of brown sugar. Gonna mix that together. And that is the sauce we're gonna use uh, for the meatloaf when we air crisp it but we need to quick release the instant pot once this minute is up so once this is up I'm gonna quick release and we can get started with the next step all right so now that our minute is up and we have quick released we are going to bring out the meatloaf and be careful it's hot I'm actually gonna use, let me see, I have a little mitt that I can use. We'll bring this to the side. We need to strain the potatoes and have that in a separate bowl, sorry. And we are going to add our meatloaf back alongside with our air fryer lid. All right, so now we have our meatloaf here and I have my potatoes being strained right now. We are going to add our sauce and just spread that all over the meatloaf. We're gonna add our silicone uh, trivet here. And now we can add our air fryer lid. You wanna make sure your Instant Pot is unplugged and you only have the air fryer lid plugged in here. I'm gonna fix the camera. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and select air fry at 400 degrees for five minutes. And let's work on the potatoes. Okay, while our meatloaf is finishing, we are going to get our mashed potatoes ready. You'll need three tablespoons of butter, along with one quarter cup of milk. So I'm just gonna start with the butter so that it can melt. And just smash that in there. Once you see that the butter is melted, then you can start adding milk. Okay, so I just do a little bit at a time. 
because you don't want watery mashed potatoes either. Oh, that's good. All right, and there we have it. We have our mashed potatoes. We are going to wait for the um, air fryer to finish and we can serve it. All right, so our air fryer lid is finished here. Go ahead and mold it here. And let's bring out our meatloaf. I forget silicone is hot with the air fryer. It doesn't usually get as hot with the instant pot or the pressure cooking portion, but that lid, it just gets it real hot. Okay. So we're gonna allow this to cool down a couple minutes and then we can remove the clip to bring it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring our meatloaf out. And we could slide it off of the glass here. I just want to carefully grab it. And there we have it. We have our beautiful meatloaf with some mashed potatoes here. And it's ready to go, you guys. Let's just cut into it. There you have it. Our meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So you guys, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more Instant Pot Air Fryer Lid recipes coming your way on my channel, Nighttime Mommy Reviews. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if there's any requests. And until next time, you guys have a great night.